Hi everybody, and welcome to Once Upon a Scarf. This channel celebrates the art of the vintage scarf, and today we take the art part very literally. Please join me in a close look at a mid-century scarf bought for around $80 by one of the greatest artists in history. Pablo Picasso produced over 2,000 prints in his lifetime. This is one of them. It's not on paper, but on silk. And while it may not have the recognition, and certainly not the price tag, of a museum piece, this cubist landscape, rescued from the great bazaar that is the online secondhand market, tells a fascinating story. It shows this turbulent creative at his most serene, a notoriously untamable egotist as a homebody. And this snug little streetscape stands in utter contrast to his most famous work, the great painting Guernica, in which the good life explodes under wartime terror. Initially, the scene in this scarf appears flat, abstract, collage-like, but it opens up into a world where Picasso knew some of the greatest happiness of his long life. This scarf was likely produced in the 1950s or 60s, but the image derives from a painting he made in 1924 at Juan Les Pins, a resort village on the French Mediterranean coast, famous then and famous now for its beautiful beachfront, sparkling weather, casino, and hedonistic lifestyle. In 1924, Picasso lived there with his first wife, Olga Kuklova, whom he met while they were both working at the Ballet Russe in 1917. She was a gorgeous Russian ballerina who helped smooth his rough edges. They had a child, Paolo, in 1921, whom Picasso dearly adored. The family situation for this famously unfaithful, notoriously abusive artist had, at that point, not yet descended into tragedy. While Picasso loved the bohemian life in Paris, the city's weather can be persistently gray. He was keen to spend summers by the sea. The family moved into a villa in Juan Le Pin in the summer of 1924. He set up his studio in a warehouse one street away. Picasso loved the setting with its overlook of the coastline. He sent postcards showing the view to his friends back in Paris, testaments to his joy and satisfaction with his new abode. That summer, the artist completed a series of landscape paintings. One of them, printed in a different colorway, is reproduced on this scarf. It's a studio-eye view of his working neighborhood, down the narrow, winding streets to the beach. Picasso was a master of manipulating space, incorporating elements of the local scenery into his painting. So what initially looks like a flat collage begins to spring dimensions the longer you look at it. Here we see the outlines of the tower of the posh Villa La Vigie, where the artist lived with Olga and Paolo. Beside it, the pyramidal tile roof of another building, which appears to be a gatehouse for the villa and its tower. This rectangle may be a no-entry sign. Picasso's home, ancient and splendid, was well guarded and secure. Here is another roof topped by a cross, probably the local church. There's a delightful cartoon palm tree to remind us that we're in the south, and in the distance, the ocean, gleaming blue and white. To the left of the painting is an oddly shaped outline speckled with light. This may be a reflection of the equally oddly shaped pool on the villa's grounds. If so, it's a flex but covert, folded into the odd geometries of cubism. Higher up, rising behind the rooftops, is the sun, as yet compressed, but soon to be blazing in full glory in the sky. How do we know this is dawn rather than sunset? Well, the streets are blissfully empty. Sunrise in southern France in July comes early, around 6 a.m. All we see in this scene is potential. An artist up, out of the house, in his studio and ready to go. I think it's interesting to compare this sun with that in the more famous painting of his, produced 13 years later. Guernica. It shows us a village under bombardment and the havoc wrought by the bombs. Here the sun melts with an incandescent bulb, shining truth and moral outrage on the eruptions below. In contrast, Wan Le Pan's sun is pure and promising, the buildings safely enclosed, all is well in this compact little world. 
Picasso himself is settled back, streets and hours away from the noise and crowds, cocooned in his warehouse studio. This scarf depicts his happy place in 1924, when he had a young family, boundless ambition, personal and financial security, and a magical place to enjoy them. If Guernica would be his vision of hell on earth, Juan Le Pin came something close to heaven. And that's today's scarf story. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more.